Well, howdy, folks. It's Captain Banana. Long time no see, huh? <laughs> yep. Head's still bald, still wearing a yellow shirt, except, uh, shirt says Go Express because that's who I'm working for. Yeah, I haven't made any videos lately because I've just been too busy working. Yeah. So it's the day after Election Day. Yeah, it's November 9th. Election Day was November 8th. So I hope you voted. <laughs> I didn't. Ah, oh well, it's too busy. Too busy, and I really don't trust those mail-in ballots. But, you know, whatever. Anyway, today's video is scammers. Yeah, talking about scammers. Now, when I worked at Prime, there was this girl named Trucker Nene. Well, she wasn't a girl, she's a woman. A woman named Trucker Nene. And she got taken by a couple of scammers for uh, over $20,000 in jewelry. Yeah, yeah. these scammers, uh, they, they target truck stops. They figure, eh, you know, truckers make easy targets. And unfortunately, some of us do. I am not one of them. I don't trust anybody, especially when it comes to money. Now, what happened with Trucker Nene was, you know, she was the target of professional scammers, and, you know, they're out there, and trust me, they will rip you off if given the opportunity. I'm walking out of the truck stop, and this guy's just like, hey, hey, buddy, hey, buddy, come here, come here, come here. You got to see this. There's this dude giving away money. Red flag, red flag right there. Nobody gives away money. Well, I might, but I didn't hit the lottery, so <laughs> don't expect me to give you money. But that was first red flag. And he's like, oh, yeah, this guy won a bunch of money at the casino. Red flag number two, because that's the same line of bullshit that they said to Trucker Nene. And she fell for it, unfortunately, for her. So I'm like, okay, it's a scam. Let's check this out. I, I like watching scams, you know, get to see what the scam is. So I go behind this bunch of trucks not the smartest thing to do but you know it's hollow <laughs> yeah so I follow this the guy that's the he's I guess they call him the roper yeah that they, they, they rope you into the scam so you know it, it's run by three people you got the guy that ropes you in then the guy that plays the customer, I'll call him, and then the guy that's doing the card shuffle. Because this was a variation of three card Monty. Now, if you've ever heard of three card Monty, but with three card Monty, you cannot win. It's just, it's impossible because the way three card Monty works, you have three cards in front of you and they're folded a little bit so that they're easy to pick up. Well, with three card Monty, you gotta pick the red card. But with three card Monty, the way it actually works, the guy's palming the red card. So when there's three cards in front of you, he says, "Oh, pick the red card." He's got the red card palmed in his hand. So it doesn't matter what card you pick, you're gonna lose. That's the way that works. And the, the, these guys did not have any clue that I knew what three card Monty was. So I'm watching this, you know, the guy's got a knot of money, you know, like a thick knot of money. Hundreds, fifties, twenties, tens. Yeah, he didn't win that at the casino. Yeah, he scammed that from other people. Yeah, that's... <laughs> guy was pretty good. Made the mistake of shaking my hand. Wouldn't look me in the eye, but he shook my hand. And the first thing I thought of this guy's got really smooth hands. He's never worked a day in his life. He's a professional at cards. Yeah. Professional at card dealing. You don't want to deal with people like that because they will take your money real quick. This guy's a professional. <laughs> you know, I've got eh, kind of soft hands because, you know, I don't sweep out my truck. Oh, no, 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 no. I use a leaf blower because I'm lazy. <laughs> but, yeah, you, you don't want to deal with, you know, these professional card 
card handlers. And this guy was. And I watched him, you know, and he was shuffling the cards around. And and I'm thinking, like, yep, that's definitely three-card Monty. And the guy that's the, quote, customer, yeah, he's also in on the scam. He picks a card. He wins. Guy gives him $100. He does it again. Picks another card. Wins. Guy gives him another 100 He shuffles the cards around again. And the guy picks a card and loses. Because, you know, and the way he dealt it, it was obvious that the, the red card was supposed to be in the, the right-hand corner. But he's just like, oh, yeah, and all you got to do is point to it, point to it. And I'm like, okay, well, it's that card in the corner. Well, no, you have to put up money to point. I'm like, yeah, nice try. I'm not falling for that scam. The card's in your palm. You're a scammer. It's three-card Monty. Fuck you. I'm gone. I turned around and I walked away. There was another truck driver coming up, and I'm like, dude, it's three-card Monty. It's a scam. Walk away. So he's like, oh, yeah, thanks, buddy. And he and the two of us walked back to the truck stop. I walked in the truck stop, and I told him, said, hey, you got a bunch of scammers out here playing three-card Monty. So they called the cops. By the cop, time the cops showed up, yeah, these guys were gone. They're professionals. Yeah, they're not going to get caught. You know. But, uh, yeah, be aware. You know, the, these scammers are out there. Uh, what happened to Trucker Nene? Oh, shit, that was... I want to say, like, maybe January, possibly f February. No, no, I was in TNT training with Eric when that happened. So, it was at least March, April, maybe May, two years ago. And she made a video of it, and God bless her. Because, uh, yeah, it's embarrassing when you get, you know, ripped off of money. I mean, she was ripped off for like 20 grand in jewelry. Different variation, but the same kind of setup. You know, oh, this guy's, you know, he won big in a casino and he's giving away money. And this was during the COVID shutdown, which should have read, raised a red flag like right there. Like, oh, wait a minute, what casinos open during COVID shutdown, eh? Yeah, well. But, uh, yeah, that scam was just like, oh, yeah, and he's giving away money on whoever can get the most, you know, come up with the most amount of money. Well, if you have money, you don't need money. So why would somebody give you money? Red flag. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, watch yourselves out there. The scammers are out there. Don't fall for it. Now, on a side note. Uh, for the past four weeks, they've been sending me to Hunts Point. That's in the Bronx in New York City. In Hunts Point, they have uh, it's a big food distribution place. And they have uh, a place that you can go in and get food. Except they don't take anything but cash. No Visa, no debit, no American Express, no MasterCard, no Apple Pay, no Android Pay. Cash only. I know, you're probably sitting there thinking, how the fuck do they stay in business if they don't take credit? Yeah. I go in there, I have cash on me because I know from past experience, I walked in there two weeks ago and I was hungry. And I'm like, oh yeah, get something to eat. And they're like, nope. Because I asked them, hey, take credit cards? They're like, nope, cash only. Like, fuck. So, yeah. So I came prepared. I went in there with $40. I I don't know why I went in there with 40 bucks, but, you know, something told me, I go in there with 40 bucks. Well, I get in there, and there's this one guy that was driving for, I think he said Nebraska land. I, I don't know, I've never heard of Nebraska land. But anyway, he's in there, and he's bitching up a storm because he'd ordered food, ate his food, went to pay, and they're like, no, we, we don't take credit cards. We don't take Apple Pay. It's cash only. He's like, oh, what the fuck? You should have told me that before, you know, before he served my food. Well, everybody knows that we don't take cash. And I'm like, yeah, dude, seriously? Truck drivers don't carry cash on them, especially the new truck drivers. The old school truck drivers will carry cash. The new school truck drivers, we don't carry cash. Everything is electronic, you know. 
paying the lumper fee? Well, yeah, it's electronic or it's you know an EFS check or a com check. We don't carry cash on us. All the tolls, well, they're done by Easy Pass or Best Pass. We we don't dig cash out of our pockets to pay tolls. Who the fuck does that? Old school drivers might, not us new school drivers. <laughs> Especially that goddamn George Washington Bridge. Somebody told me it's like $135 to cross that bridge with a tractor trailer. $135. You gotta be shitting me. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's why I'm a company driver. I don't have to pay for tolls, don't have to pay for gas. Well, don't have to pay for fuel. It's diesel fuel, it's not gas, it's diesel fuel. Don't have to pay for that. I do have to pay for my windshield washing fluid because, you know. A new message has arrived. Oh, kiss my ass with a new message. Let's see, today's Wednesday. Yeah, so, yeah, whatever. Anyhow, before I was so rudely interrupted by the damn Qualcomm, I said to the kid, I said, hey, man, do you have Cash App? He's like, oh, yeah, 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 I got Cash App. So Cash App me $21. I'll give you a $20 bill. Because Cash App, you know, and they charge a percentage. It's like a credit card. And he's like, oh, cool, thanks, man, appreciate that. So he Cash App me $21. I gave him the $20 bill. He paid his bill. Everybody was happy. But, yeah, when you go to point, uh, Hunt's Point, they don't take cash. Or, I'm sorry, they don't take credit. It's cash only. When you go in there, it's $25 cash. Yeah, $25 cash to get in. Unless you have the blue ticket. And if you want to buy a book of blue tickets, it's $250 for 20 of them. Yeah. They only take cash. They don't take credit cards. They don't take com checks. They don't take EFS. you got to bring $250 cash to get a book of 20 blue tickets to get in there. Yeah. Oh, and another thing, because when I went there three weeks ago, and they told three weeks ago, four weeks ago, and they told me, yeah, I get a book of blue tickets, and they put uh, 400 bucks, 400 bucks, 300 bucks, oh, it was $300, because they weren't sure how much a book of tickets were. So I was in a pilot, cash the uh, $300 EFS, Unbeknownst to me, well, if you get 75 gallons in fuel, yeah, you can cash up to $200 free. Yeah, no charge. Anything above $200, they whack you a uh, percentage. I didn't know that. Found that out the hard way. So I'm telling you, so if you want to cash an EFS check or a com check, get 75, 75 gallons in fuel... And then uh, only do it for $200. Yeah. Professional tip right there. 